The greatest team up in Blue Lock history has finally happened, and you know what that means. Isagi and Kaiser fans must also push aside their differences, because the true enemy all along was Itoshi Rien. What's going on everyone, my name is Anamasu, and today we'll be taking a look at the Blue Lock Chapter 285 Leaks, titled Contract. If you enjoy staying up to date with Blue Lock and would like to also support my channel, please click that subscribe button, comment below your thoughts, and feel free to check out my community discord. The link can be found in the description of all my videos, and there you can chat with me and other Blue Lock fans. Anyways, enough yapping for me, let's get right into today's leaks. The Blue Lock 285 leaks start off with intro text stating, A sudden proposal to collaborate. What future will Yoichi lead the bewildered Emperor Kaiser towards? The first thing we see is Isagi Yoichi staring at Michael with a serious expression, as Kaiser just looks shocked to his core. Huh? A team up? He just cannot believe his ears, just like most fans last week, because the two biggest ops in the NEL are now gonna work together. He even goes on to ask Isagi if he's lost his mind or gone psychotic, because not even one hour ago, he wanted to kill him. Every single interaction they've had has been negative and filled with hate, so what's changed now? Well, according to Isagi, it's the wall of geniuses they currently face, as he knows Michael can see it too. Without working together, they just can't win against monsters like that. I really love this panel for page 2 as well, because it heavily reminds me of the Itoshire and Isagi panel from the U20 match where they're standing side by side. Just rather than facing forward, the two are staring down one another, which honestly hits in its own unique way. Isagi continues on to say that at his current level, Itoshiren cannot be stopped by just a single person, and with only one goal left, this game can be shut out at any second. There's no way to predict what ridiculous or insane play Itoshiren will pull off next, so the only choice is for them to work together and stop him entirely. The only person who can help Isagi with this is someone like Kaiser, a high level world type egoist just like himself with metavision, physical capability, basically the whole package to replicate exactly what he sees just like Hiyori did. Defensively, they've realized it takes a great deal of effort and multiple people to stop Itoshiren, and they would prefer to not be faced with that again. If they can work together the same way on offense though, they can hurry up and win this game, proving once and for all that a talented learner can beat a genius. I mean, we already know this, but I think Isagi specifically just wants to know the true bounds of his ego axis and his own knowledge right now. Kaiser obviously is confused and appalled with this being the reason for a team-up offer, but Isagi continues on to explain that he's thrown his personal feelings to the side. Right now, he just wants to work alongside Kaiser to show the world that his theory is correct and can be put into action. Even more than that, Isagi Yoichi wants to dive into this new part of himself that he's just awakened. The part of him that threw away all of his feelings in the pursuit of victory, and will use his entire being as a tool to achieve it. His puzzle pieces are shown shifting into a box shape for the first time I believe, meanwhile Michael Kaiser, he just cannot believe what he's hearing. While just staring over at Isagi for the last second while silent, he makes the realization that he hasn't quite lost it, but rather found a brand new ego for himself, the truest form of Isagi Yoichi. Kaiser then goes on to laugh and entertain the idea of a team up, questioning under those circumstances, who gets to score the final goal? Isagi obviously goes on to say that they'll approach this logically, each going for the goal with equal opportunity. With Kaiser seeming shocked by this as he continues on, Isagi states that luck will be the final determining factor to decide which of these two egoists will score. They will pass the ball to one another and operate at their maximum efficiency, but whoever ends up with the ball last, they'll be the ones chosen by God to score and win this game. Neither party will worry about personal feelings or previous hatred, as this is the only way for this chemical reaction to produce any positive outcome. With Isagi once again breaking apart and rebuilding himself anew, he tells Kaiser to throw away his entire self and become the best version of himself for winning. This is the only way people like him and Kaiser, talented learners, can fight against the world of geniuses. Half of Isagi has his new visual prowess and white hair showing, while the other half remains black, almost seeming like a transformation sequence or Ken Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul. He and Isagi are both my favorite main characters of all time, so I love to see that similarity. Anyways, Kaiser goes on to say that he still hates Shoichi with all of his heart, but when it's phrased in such a way to achieve victory, he can manage. Isagi barks back that he too still wants to murder Kaiser, because all they're really doing is forming a temporary contract to achieve their mutual objective. It just works. Surpassing Itoshi Rein, destroying Nello Noah, they both share the same objectives and will benefit greatly by combining their strength. Pages 10 and 11 are then shown to be a double spread of the two strikers dapping one another up, both thinking the same thing in their brain. This is a crucial situation, so they had to make a deal with the devil for this final goal, their most hated op. Not only is this panel super badass showing the stars of Bastion Munich finally teaming up, but even the concept and wording of it just goes insane to me. 
They both genuinely want to take a knife and kill the other person, but in this moment, their lust for victory reigns above all. With the crowd going absolutely nuts at this new team up, the announcers go on to say how close this new Egoist League match is in its final moments. This match was so fierce that even the master strikers Noel Noah and Julian Loki couldn't make any impact, which really puts a smile on my face. With both masters obviously having to sub off the field, Kunigami Rensuke takes a deep breath as he's hopping back onto the pitch for the final moments. Everyone else like Karasu, Hiyori, and Igarashi are still in shock or getting hyped as even they can't believe the Kaisugi team up is happening. Tokumitsu, Zantetsu, and Nanase on the other hand are all tweaking out as they genuinely need to make a huge impact to stay or make the top 23. Charles and Shida are just ready to close this match out and enjoy more playtime, and Itoshirin, he's pouring sweat from his face while thinking about how badly he wants to destroy them all. The perspective then switches over to the bench for a hilarious moment, as Julian and Loki while looking sad, ask Noah to scold Isagi for the way he just went off on everyone. He says that it's his job as the coach to teach him manners and all that, mostly the way he cooked Loki. But Noah doesn't even seem to care, and even goes on to say that Isagi wasn't wrong in any regard. Although PXG might have still not lost all hope, they did open the door to Isagi Yoichi's ego, and that is something they've never seen within anyone before. Noah indeed tried to use and manipulate Isagi for his benefit, but in the end, he got used and manipulated himself and was a stepping stone. Noah and Loki then realized this new Egoist League must have been about more than money or popularity, because even their egos were somehow manipulated and used in the grand scheme of things. Behind it all, we see the mastermind Ego Jinpachi with a wide smirk after watching his son Isagi absolutely tear everyone apart verbally. Noah finally realizes the true purpose of Blue Lock being a research facility for Ego to evolve the blue lockers at the fastest rate possible. Even the master strikers were all pawns in his overall plan, and coming into the new Egoist League, they were just offering up their egos as tools without knowing it. They realized it too late. As Nanase throws the ball back into play, Ego continues on to say that he wanted to forge someone with the strongest, most potent and poisonous Ego in the entire world. He put them through trials, the world, and even the world's best for all the purpose, of gambling on the chosen one. It all paid off, however, in the product of Itoshirin and Isagi Yoichi, as they both survived the tribulations and acquired new mindsets and techniques. They've both truly thrived in this mad environment. With the final page showing Itoshirin, Kaiser, and Isagi all with their original ego eyes or metavision activated, Ego urges them to go forth and birth a new egoist. Neo just means new after all, so it seems like the NEL was also made with the sole purpose of producing a certain kind of player. One with an ego that can impact the world around them, influencing and changing the very pitch they walk on. The outro text for today's leaks then say, Kaiser and Isagi ambush Itoshirin. The impossible combo overturns the battlefield. With that, the ball ends in Itoshirin's possession as Isagi and Kaiser rush forward as a new dynamic duo. With that sadly being the end of today's leaks, the upcoming chapter 286 will be titled New Era, clearly referring to the insane matchup we'll be seeing against Ego's greatest creations, and I just cannot wait. Let me know what you guys think about Kunigami subbing back into the game, because with luck being the determining factor for the final goal, it's possible that the Kiora to Kunigami theory could still be alive. With that ending off today's leak video, I just want to thank you all so much for tuning in to watch. If you enjoy Blue Lock or just want to support my channel, please click that subscribe button, comment below your thoughts, and even consider joining my community discord. I hope you all have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next video very soon.